Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi button module. So before we dive into this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I have a special affiliate link below that will get you 10% off Divi if you don't already have it, and that's WPWithTom.com slash Divi. I highly recommend picking it up if you don't already have it. And I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering all of the Divi module videos on my channel here. And if you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe. So with that out of the way, let's dive into this Divi button module. So in my opinion, the Divi button module is an easy widget to edit and use. And it comes with some flexibility built into it, just like all of the Divi modules do. So if we wanted to get started, let's go and just add a button here. I'll add a new row. And then within this row, I'm going to go and add a new module and I'll just add button right here. And by default, we have this basic button. You can hover over it. It changes the background color, takes away the border, and it remains blue text and shoots this arrow off to the right when you hover over it. So right here, we have the text that we can edit. You can just easily edit this and make something like order now as an example or something that you might see on a button. And for this example here, I'll just paste in youtube.com. And then we have the option to open the link in a new tab or in the same window. So when I'm linking internally, I tend to link it in the same window most of the time. And then if I'm linking to something like an external resource like YouTube, for example, I might put that as a new tab just because I want to keep people on my site as long as possible. And by opening in a new tab, yes, that opens a new window, but it still keeps them on my site and has that longer retention time, which is better for SEO. So I'm going to just leave this as in a new tab in this example here. And then I'll move over to where it says design. So if we go over here and just click on this, we have a lot of options under design here. So to start changing the look of our button, let's go to where it says alignment. I'll just align it to the center here. You can align it to the right if you want as well. Depending on what kind of site you have or what's going on on your website, it's really nice to have that flexibility. I'll just put it in the center right here. And then for text, we can choose if we want light or dark. I'm just going to leave it as is because I'm actually going to edit the text under where it says button. And then it says use custom styles for button yes so this is where you're going to have most of the flexibility over what the button looks like so right here we could change the button text size and i'll just go through that and show you what happens when you change it you can see it gets larger and smaller i'm going to revert it back to 20 pixels i think that's a good size here i'll change the button color and i'll just make the color white in this case you barely can even see it right now when we hover over it but it's white on white right there and then if we go to button background, you have different options. So you can just add a solid color like this. And you can see that our site by default has this darker orange color with the site. And if you wanted to, you can just copy that code out of there and put the code over here for the actual color code. So it would go right in here. And that's where you could put it. In this case, I'm going to go over and I'm going to use gradient instead of this. So I'm just going to go just revert this back to the normal setting there. And I'll go over to where it says background gradient this middle option here and from here we have some other options so if we just click on add background gradient by default you can see it gives us this blue and this turquoise color here by default if you wanted to change them you could go and make it let's just say orange and then the second one red and it goes pretty well with our site here and it looks a little bit different i think it catches the eye a little bit more so if we wanted to scroll down here here's where you can change the gradient direction so if we went and made it all the way over to zero or one degree right here, you can see what it looks like and you can see it just rotates and changes the direction it's coming from. So I'm going to revert it back to 180 here. You also can change the start position. So if I were to go like this, you can see that it would be red only on the bottom. Once we go to like a certain point, maybe like 75 would look pretty good right there. If you want to just have an orange button with a red underline, or if you want it to red at the top, you could do it the other way around and make it go to like 25 and then the orange is at the top rather. So that is how you could do that. I'm gonna revert it back and just have it like this. I think it looks pretty cool. And then you can go down here. I'm gonna take the border width and make it zero in this case. I don't wanna have this border width. 
and then the button radius right here it has three pixels so it's slightly rounded corners on them if you want to make that larger or more rounded you can go like this and once you get to about 50 it becomes pill shaped like this so that is how you could change the shape of the button right there I'm going to go and I'm just going to make this maybe like 20 in this case just to have it look a little bit different maybe I'll go a little shorter like 15 something like that so it looks a little bit different than our button right here and then if you want to change the button font you can do that I like the font Leto right here you can search for fonts if you want but Leto is a pretty standard font here you can change the weight so let's say you want it to be bold you can make it bold like that so it stands out a little bit more and then you can choose if you want a button icon or not and that's when somebody hovers over it you can see it juts out like this with this arrow icon so maybe you want them to scroll down on the page you might want to go and put a little down icon like that and you can see that now it has that icon on it when we hover over it so it's totally up to you what you want to use for that I'm going to leave it with this right here but you can change the color as well in this area if you want a different color I'm going to leave it as white for this case so you can also change the placement if you want it on the left or the right. I'm going to leave it on the right as well. And from here, I'm going to go down to where it says box shadow. Now, I actually don't think box shadow looks too great on this, but if you wanted to add one, you could. And I'm just going to click on the second one right here, and I'll just go down and make it red just so you can see that it gives this little red around the button. Again, it could draw someone's eye to it, and if that's what you want, it could be helpful there. I'm actually going to go and change that back so I'm going to just make it white like this and then if we go down here to where it says animation you can also change that so by default the only animation is when we hover over it so if we wanted to we can make it so it fades in you can see it fade in or slide in like that or bounce which is more like a pulse you can have fold which looks a little different it folds out you can do flip and then I think roll is probably the biggest one because you can see it flip right in like that. So I'm going to just go with slide in this case. And here you can adjust where the animation direction comes from. So if you want to go to the right, it can slide into the right. Or it can slide up as an example. Or slide down. So it's up to you. I'm going to just leave it center because I want it to be a little more subtle than that. Here you can also change the duration. So if you want it to be a quick animation, you can make it like this. So maybe it's half a second or if you want it to take like two seconds you can and it goes nice and slow so it's totally up to you on what you want to do with that I'm gonna just leave it as one second or a thousand milliseconds here here you can put a delay if you want as well it's very easy to set this up and I'm just gonna go and save it like that and to make it go into effect entirely we gotta go right here and save it so that about wraps up this brief Divi button module tutorial here covering some of the basic edits that you can make to make your button look a little bit different than what you start with. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.